Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today we are going to try try uh, to model these roofs. Okay, so let's start. So first, let's create a project. Okay. So basically, um, all these domes, all these, can be modeled. Um, I think using uh, model in place. Uh, and revolve. Okay, so um, let's just um, let's model some. <laughs> okay, so first, um, before we model, because um, when we do uh, revolves, we will need to uh, model, pick some uh, work plan. So, which I think it's um, vertical, um, work, vertical work plans. So we need to draw some reference plan first. So let's. Um, just draw to reference plan, and we're going to so um, let's say well we're going to model the, uh, we have some building underneath, and we need to model a dome on top of this. So we first we draw two reference plans RP, okay, and then we uh, we need to so let me just uh, I'll just draw some wall underneath, okay? So a wall. Uh, let's make it maybe ten meters, okay? So um, that's exterior, which is correct. Mirror MM, and let's just mirror these two 45 degree. Okay, so I'll use DM. Okay, so DM trim and TR, and we have a building underneath. Okay, so let's go to 3D views. That's a building underneath, and now we need to uh, model a dome, a, a, a roof on top of this. So we can do this model in place. So usually just pick roof uh, category, so you will have a correct long weight. Okay, so roof, and then we are going to first we're going to try revolve. So to model a revolve, so first you need to um, we're going to need to uh, draw the, the the profile in an elevation. Okay, so. In order to do that, um, we need to set a work plan first. Pick a plan, and either this one or this one. So let's pick this this one, okay? And then we need to go to the south or north elevation. So let's go to south, and then in here we need to draw the shape. So usually what we what you can do is you can also do a you know save the image or do a screenshot, and you can uh, drag you can load that image into the into your model, uh, so you so you can have something in the background that you can draw over it. So, but for this exercise, I'm going to just uh, roughly. So let's just use a spline. Okay. So for example, I'll just uh, I'll just um, model something like which one? Uh, uh, <laughs> this one, first one. Okay. So something like this. Okay. So it's nice arc curve, not not a a. a uh, arc, not um, not arc, arc. So we need to use um, spl spline instead of instead of arc. Okay. So let's just I'll just place start from this point, go up, and then roughly here, and then pick the midpoint here. So after you place this, you can still adjust. So you can try to adjust this curve. This um, Supply so something like this. If you want to at this point to be tangent to the other side, you can just make sure this the second point is uh, aligned with the top one. Okay, so and the same. If you want this at this point to be uh, tangent to the wall, to this wall, so just need to align this point with this. So if if you don't need to, you can do something like this. Okay. So um, yeah, maybe let, let me just have a look, another look. So basically, it's vertical. Yep. Yeah, I think um, looks okay. Okay. So finish. And then and also um, in uh, model in place, uh, if, because this is a generic model, and you won't be able to just uh, revolve a lot. You need a, a, a closed. So what I'm going to do is just off, offset this one. So give it a thickness. So for example, to uh, 200, and and um, maybe just make it a little bit thicker. That's five a uh, 400. Okay, and then and also um, make 
be careful because this one, if you offset from a spline, you won't be able to adjust this the shape of this. You can adjust the scale of this, but not the shape. Okay, so which means once you change the shape of this spline, you need to do another one, offset another one. Okay, so now let's close it and and then we also need an, an axis line so just uh, draw it in the middle okay so finish and this is it ah this is very ugly <laughs> anyway so this is uh ah maybe we need to so increase so yeah <laughs> ah, please ignore ignore this uh it's very ugly but Basically, this is uh, the way to do it. Um, let's go back to south elevation. Okay, so yeah, I think uh, it shouldn't be like this. Anyway, um, okay, so basically all these, so you can see this, 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 can be uh, done using revolve. But so there's some some see here so there's this edge so it's different and also this one this one's different again so this one um and i uh hang on, let me just uh, go back i'll just finish finish this uh, model in place so i'll hh -h this one i'll see what happens if we use model uh roof by sketch okay so let's just do it in level one so actually i wanted to uh that's only level one uh, um, yeah, I wanted to place it on the top, so maybe we just need to offset by four meter, uh, I think. Okay, so that's fine. So we can just do a circle. So I'm going to do it in floor plan because we have reference plan here. So we can just draw a circle. So if we do this with a, this uh, 30 degree, so we can create a cone shape, I think. See, something like this. So let me just offset this by four meter. Okay, so, and then if I change it to six, yeah, so we can use a roof by four footprint to create something like this, but not those curved one. And for this one, of course, uh, you can just, instead of use, um, let's go back to floor plan, instead of use a circle, we can use a, this um, not which one uh, let's try this one six yeah oh good um, yeah let's finish it go 3d view yeah so six degree oh that's a lot that's very tall um, 45 okay so yeah so this this is this one and so what if we need something like this um yeah we can still oh actually i'm going to show you um show you another way to do this okay so let, let me just delete this hr to show the original this one so this is a revolve right um okay so i'm going to use the edge of this circle so this this uh this storm okay so i'll do another model in place so let's go roof and so this time instead of use revolve uh, i'm going to use sweep there's a sweep and i'm going to use pick path to pick the edge pick the edge of this roof, this dome so basically it'll be half circle so usually uh, when you pick lines you can only pick half circle so now this is a whole circle with a path so um instead of you know in revolve you draw a line axis line in the middle so this is use pop with a, a profile um okay so now finish this um, part and then edit profile so if i do it the same if i pick this edge oh, so it looks like i can't pick that that's fine um if i just pick i'll just draw it okay so i draw it something like this for Maybe we can do it in 3D, uh, in in this view, which is east view. So if I go to east, so yeah, we can draw it here. So I'll just 
change it to wireframe WF so you can see the profile of this. So if I draw it just exactly, just to match this shape, oh, we can't because it's a spline. So I'll see if I can pick this edge. No, can't. We need to do it again. So one, go up, and another point right here, and then finish it. Oh, looks like we can't pick. And I'll just pick something, pick this here, this point, because this is a center point. And then we, we can just drag this. And when you drag the end point, make you use uh, pre, um, press tab and change it. Okay. Otherwise, you will scale it instead of uh, instead of you know adjust the point. So now I'm going to just roughly uh, draw, uh, adjust these points to match, so roughly match the shape. Okay. So let's say uh, this is it, and then I'll just offset it so by 400, and then create another line, and then close close it so this time it's a um, sweep so let's finish it finish it okay usually you will see this <laughs> um, yeah that's correct so what we can do is uh, let me just have a look um, okay what we can do is let's just uh, so this okay this can be some issue here um, not sure. Maybe just drag this point back a little bit because um, this is how it really work. When you have that, so you can see um, you just have a little a, a little hole on the top. Oh, this is getting weirder. Let me just finish this one. I'll delete the revolve one. So now this is a sweep one and edit sweep so what we can do is so this we just we need to turn this on see this one and we come okay full edge uh, maybe i'll change this one to 90 degree no 60 uh no 6 60 yeah so this will be uh yeah uh hexagon hexagon um footprint right so if i change this one 45 one, two, three, four. So, yeah, uh, 30. Yeah, so you can change this quite. So this can be quite useful sometimes. Um, you, in case you need to, you know, model something like, uh, it's not here, but yeah, can be some, sometimes. So to, if you want to fill this hole, <laughs> you can do that. Um, so let's go. Once you have this, so let's say, what's, once you have this, Trajectory segmentation. <laughs> uh, once you have these edges, you can change it back. Okay, so edit profile. So now, let me just find that uh, center first. So this time, you can drag it back. You can just uh, drag this one, drag this one back. And you can trim it. Oh, no, you can't trim it, but you can draw a line to close it. And this time it will. Oh, still not. Oh, interesting. I thought we, it will work. Um, that's. Yeah, I think that's. Uh, if if it won't work, then we looks like we must. We must. So maybe I'll just move this one to the right by. Uh, even uh, five millimeter and finish it finish it so see just have a very small hole there so you can use a sweep for this shape um, okay what's next yeah I think that's that's about it so um, Basically, you can also use this sweep. So if you you don't you don't want to see these edges, you just uncheck that one and become a a, a, cur a curved. And you want to so you can edit always edit the profile. So if you want this pointy, uh, you know, where where is it? Uh, here, this one. So if you want to model this pointy um, shape, so you can just drag this down. 
Okay, something like that. So you can always adjust. So uh, in this uh, profile. So so this is an onion shape, <laughs> and then delete the, the the offset and to another offset, and then okay, this can be a little bit tricky here because I'm not sure. Yeah, we can't split this offset line. Um, sorry, I don't know how to fix this. I think this we can't draw all over that because it will break the sweep. So uh, I think we we we, we um, this one this one can can be done. Oh, hang on. Let me just control Z. Control Z. We can just close to draw uh, it. Just roughly close it. Trim. And at this point, because when we offset this one, it's always um, maybe we can do this instead of offset this way, we uh, offset the other way, the other side. How about that? And then we can just um, somehow <laughs> close it. Yeah. So okay, close it. Oh, maybe you can just draw this spline inside. Okay, so I'll do this, offset this one by 400, and I'll just do another spline. So just start from here, just follow follow the shape, um, uh, something like, like this. Go up, stop here, stop at this point. You can't go uh, any further. Okay, so, and then just uh, try to try to match the shape okay so i think this is good enough and then i'll delete this one delete this delete uh, this and delete this so only this one delete this offset of 400 so this will roughly um yeah i think it's close enough and then you can just you know draw draw it uh, close it and uh, here so you have you can just extend this to maybe I'll just draw this line first go up and draw this one so tangent with this and finish it so now if I finish yeah uh, it's not tangent so so that's why we see a line there uh, maybe let's go edit this see if we can uh, I don't think we can because this is blind that's fine so maybe if we maybe we can just drag this point to here so this will scale this shape a little bit but um you sh you will not i don't think you will notice notice the um yeah i think it sh should be good enough <laughs> okay so that's it um yeah uh, i think this one looks nicer <laughs> Anyway, so this is it. So a few different ways. So we uh, we talked about using a revolve to if it's only uh, a curved or this smooth shape, and if there's a little you know or different um, shape like this one, uh, this is very simple. You can just use uh, roof by footprint, and another method is you can use a sweep. You have the option to you know change. To create it a smooth or other you know with edge um, yeah that's it uh, if you have any questions or if you have more uh, good ideas um, uh, suggestions please let me know I'll see you next time thank you thank you see ya